What's up guys? Let me show you an easy way to put in these bow tie inlays. Let's get started. The purpose of the bow tie is to prevent any split in your material from getting larger. The size of the split in your material would determine the size of the bow tie that you need. Uh, I'm laying out just this design that you see up here in the corner. Um, that will fit the, the split that I am needing to repair. The size of the bow tie really does not matter. It just needs to uh, fit your application. Make sure that there's plenty of material left in the middle for support. You can also go online and find some templates for this as well. But designing your own is super easy once you get used to it. Now you don't have to do this, but I like to go over the outline with a razor knife. I think this helps to prevent uh, tearing, even if you're using a coping saw. With your coping saw, just go over your outline. You may have to get into uh, some different angles uh, for a nice, clean, straight cut. Um, there's more than one way to do this. You can do this with a scroll saw. You can also do this with a table saw. I'll show you that neat little trick at a later date. Okay, so what we're doing here um, is just cleaning this up. Uh, like I said, you will have to get into some different types of angles here with this coping saw in order for a nice straight cut. As you can see, I've cut out two bow ties, um, and now I'm just laying them out to where that I'm actually going to be uh, routing out and chiseling the area for those bow ties. Again, I'm using a razor knife to help prevent tear out. Okay, it's time for the router. I'm using a quarter inch straight bit for this in my palm router with a uh, plunge accessory. And basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going around uh, my outline without getting right onto the line. Uh, since it's a router bit, it will not cut uh, corners. So we will use the, uh, the chisels for that. Before I started routing, I set the plunge depth to the exact thickness of my inlay. And now it's time for some chisel work. Um, you're going to have to make sure that you have a nice sharp chisel for this uh, to keep the sides from tearing out. Uh, I have a video coming up soon on how to sharpen uh, your working chisels. But as you can see, I'm just going around each corner making sure to remove the excess material um, to match the lines that we had scored into the material with the knife. And now for glue up. Uh, make sure to put plenty of wood glue uh, into your area that's going to be receiving the bow tie. You almost want the wood glue to come out of the sides. Now we're going to tap it in uh, with a rubber mallet or if you have a wooden mallet. Um, just not too hard or you will crack uh, your inlay. Now we're going to sand it down flush with the material. And this is where the extra glue that may be coming out of the sides would come into play. Um, it will actually help to fill in any of the gaps around the inlay that you may have. And there you go, two beautiful, easily installed walnut inlays. If you found this video helpful at all, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more.